Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. Hey, boys and girls, your old pal Eugene here. Okay, coffee. Let's uh, let's talk about coffee here. Um, I'm sitting in my doctor's office, and my doctor's telling me I need to uh, wake up and smell the coffee. My blood pressure was out of control. Uh, that's all right. My blood pressure is a bit... As well controlled as I'm controlling splashing this coffee everywhere here. Um, I've got some jaggery in there. It's a unrefined sugar from India, Asia, popular thereabouts. Um, my doctor's telling me I got some health problems. He's telling me I need to make some changes. My blood pressure's out of control. I'm 60 pounds overweight, high cholesterol. He says, Eugene, you need to make this change or you're going down a bad road. He said, I can just keep writing you prescriptions, but you're not going to get any better until you make a fundamental change in the way you eat. So he convinced me that I need to go plant-based. And I was, it, it's the old line that the, what, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. So that's what happened. Uh, no, I'm not really putting bourbon in there. You know what you see here, and that, that's the whole point of the show here. Um, I started panicking when I thought about my coffee. Okay, I could do away with the meat, I could do away with the cheese, I could do away with the sushi, the nachos, the eggs, my breakfast tacos with bacon, all that stuff. But I started panicking when I started thinking about my coffee. Now my regular coffee, I'd go to that big coffee chain every morning. I mean, just like clockwork, I'd be there. As soon as I walked in the door, they started making my brew my way, and I was kind of particular about it. I'd mix all three flavors of coffee they'd have available. I'd put a little vanilla extract in it, or their vanilla bean powder stuff. That's where this comes in. And I'd put in some raw cane sugar, and I would go on about my way. And, of course, I would put in some creamer, okay? This is soy milk. So I had to adapt once I made the decision to go plant-based. So this is what I do now. I make my coffee and my little cappuccino maker. I froth up some soy milk. I use jaggery for sweetener. I had been using good old uh, maple syrup. I'm not doing that now. That shit's expensive. I'll put that on my waffles. I'll put that uh, on, on just a couple of little things to sweeten it up. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. Here's how I make my vanilla. Of course your eyes aren't deceiving you. These are bottles of booze. Got some spiced rum. I got some bargain brand. A yeah, good brand of, uh, of bourbon there. You don't need to get the super expensive stuff. But you do get, get you some good hooch, okay? This, you, you're going to be paying $9 a bottle for this 8 ounce crap imitation vanilla, which, which isn't in the plan. Or you're going to pay up to 20 bucks for all natural vanilla in a four ounce bottle. One of these is the equivalent of six of these, okay? So for the same price that you'd pay for six of these, you can get three of these, okay? So, 85 bucks or so, $80 in vanilla beans, $45 in booze, 50 bucks in booze, what, 125 bucks, give or take? You can make you three bottles. It's as easy as putting socks on a rooster. Hey, leave the rooster alone, all right? So, does it taste good? I love it. It took me a little bit of playing around with it to get it. I nailed it here. I've got my cheapo little, let's go ahead, let me show you what we got here. So here's what I use to make my coffee now, right? You can call it cappuccino, whatever. I don't give a damn. It's got coffee in it. I froth up my soy milk. It's got a great flavor. It's got what I like in it here. Uh, you, you, you got the coffee pod thing here. You 
put two scoops of coffee in it, you tamp it down, you put your water in here, this thing here snaps in there, you turn it on. I'll do a show just on this here. Check the link down below, I'll show you where you can get the jaggery, I'll show you where you can get the vanilla beans and the coffee making machine here, the cappuccino, espresso, whatever the hell you want to call the damn thing. Check the link down below here. And look, it's real easy to make your own vanilla, right? Here's all you gotta do. You get your beans, you cut them in half, you slit them down long ways, you throw them in your bottle, and you give your bottle the old shaky, shaky, shake every couple of days. Be patient. You want to let it sit about two, three months is better. Now, I did three bottles, and I drank through my first bottle. Over the first month, I couldn't wait. It was okay, but hey, now it's just starting to taste good. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can buy jaggery, where you can buy the vanilla beans, the coffee maker. I want to thank you for watching. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. There's a whole bunch more whole foods, plant-based cooking. No oils coming up. Do that or die trying, huh? Thank you.